okay guys so welcome back to my channel this is something extremely different i got you guys in a different environment anyways that's besides the point you guys clearly this isn't a makeup tutorial um this is a, another cooking tutorial i don't know if you guys seen the trend that's been going on but basically in like the beauty community specifically with makeup people are doing like the challenges to where it's like um i tried doing jackie ina's to, uh, makeup tutorial or makeup shayla or i love sarai or whoever i'm just naming some of my few favorites so i've been following this guy called hold on let me make sure i'm saying his name right i've been following this guy named too cool chef and this is his instagram page and if you guys haven't you guys should definitely follow him but he does a lot of like food recipes and he is like super bomb and super popping so i decided since i haven't been doing a lot of cooking stuff on my channel and i love to cook you guys know that and you guys can ask me to do more i decided to do a i follow two cool chef recipes so i've been really 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 interested in buying one of his recipes he sells his recipes for only one dollar so in this tutorial i'm not going to really explain to you guys ex the exact amount of stuff to use for it because you can honestly go on his page and purchase the recipe. I mean, yeah, I can give it to you guys, but at the same time, like, this is his craft, and I support people who are really invested in their craft, and it's a dollar. I, I, I don't I don't know y'all bank accounts, of course, but it's a dollar. And one recipe that I wanted to try, because it just looks so bomb, is his seafood scampi recipe, and, it, and you guys can see that. You guys see that? It just looks... It looks so good and I love seafood. You guys know that I'm not a pescatarian. It's, I just love seafood. So I'm going to attempt to make his seafood scampi recipe. I got all this, all the ingredients he asked for. It's super fancy, super cute, but we also have a predicament because Insecure comes on in, at 10.30 and I wanna make sure that I'm able to eat and do everything that I wanna do for Insecure. So I'm gonna be talking through it and maybe a voiceover at some points because I may be watching Insecure, but I hope that I can have everything I hope that I can have everything done before the show comes on because I have the recipe right here let me see how long he said it takes and I'm sorry I keep sniffling I just have the sniffles right now but he doesn't put like how long it takes to make he just sends you the recipe so um, I'm gonna tell you guys um, show you guys all the stuff and we're just gonna get started and get right into this cook tutorial or me attempting to do one of two cool chefs tutorial a uh, two cool chefs recipes and like I said if you haven't please check him out please follow him he has some bomb recipes from seafood and it's not just seafood it's seafood to vegetarian to chicken lamb steak all that if you're like struggling to find some bomb recipe ideas follow him he's super bomb let's get into this shrimp I don't like you saying shrimp scampi maybe because I'm basic this seafood scampi cook tutorial and see if I do it just as bomb as him here's my face lobster claws some lobster tail got a pound of shrimp heavy cream white wine and since we're not going to use all of this guess what we're doing you as well say no we're drinking drugs. this while watching it together parmesan cheese so fresh parsley which we have right here shallots so these are shallots and these you know just look at them as mini white onions so some green onions and we have that right here so you guys are just going to see me speed through and chop and cut everything that i need to and i'm going to also devein my shrimp and clean the lobsters but just wanted to show you guys exactly what we needed to um do this tutorial tutorial yeah tutorial still tutorial And, and a skillet set to medium high heat saute the shrimp with garlic shallots with garlic and the shallots until shrimp are pink and shallots and garlic are fragrant frag fragrant so we're going to do that add the shallots and that tell us to add any type of seasoning to the shrimp so we're just going to Saute them until they, they're pink. Saute them until they are pink. And, you know, all of our garlic and um, 
shallots are, you know, cooked down and everything. We're going to cook in some of this farm as well. We're going to add the white wine. Just going to add the green onions. Going to add the lobster claws as well. Things are huge. I'm gonna add the lobster claws. I'm gonna add the tomatoes, parsley. Okay, so what we want to do since this came to a boil, we're going to just let it just boil and mix it up a bit just so that the parsley isn't just sitting there and turn it down to medium low for two minutes hey siri can you please set a timer for two minutes your timer is set for two minutes so we're going to set that let it just simmer a little bit on low medium heat for two days so we let it um simmer for a little bit so we're going to add our heavy cream and butter going to add two cups of heavy cream one whole stick so there we go and then what does the recipe say now so add butter heavy cream and cook while covered until the sauce infuses to a creamy texture and then lastly we'll add the parmesan cheese which is a cup and a half cook and let it just infuse the sauce infuse for four minutes Okay, so now we're going to just stir the cheese until it melts and we're waiting for it to thicken up a bit more. Water, because I'm going to add some noodles to this. Um, too cool, Chef, he didn't like add any noodles or anything like that, but I'm going to do that just because this will be bomb too with some like bake, like, like some fresh like bruschetta bread or something like that. Or just some really good toasted bread. I think this would be super bomb. And if it's not as cheesy as you want, you can add more cheese at the top as well on top of your pasta or in the sauce. It actually tastes bomb too. Like it's so bomb. So I'm going to cover that. And um, I'm going to add just a little more cheese inside. Before I cover it, just sprinkle some around get thick like me well I'm not really that thick but you know I feel like I'm getting there I'm letting that thicken up I'm going to add these uh, upside down angel hair noodles into it, some boiling hot water and follow like the instructions so. okay guys so the sauce is now thickening up so I'm gonna mix this up a bit more and we're going to plate it because I think our pasta is ready as well Lines are vixens, blue dolphins swimming. I'm not missing, yo. I was on E thinking I was on four. Wait, wipes jaw. I finished the plate and I was eating it while I was on the phone, so I'm sorry. It's bomb. Um, it's not super creamy, but this sauce is fire, so. Um, I'm going to be continuing to buy two cool chef's recipes. This you guys should definitely, definitely, definitely try it. And let me know if you guys want me to do some more of his recipes. I'm, I'm going to do it off camera, probably show it off like Instagram and stuff. But um, thank you to cool chef. Uh, if you're watching this, this recipe is super bomb and you're very inspiring. He, 
he inspires me in a um, cooking, in my cooking element. I'm not a chef, of course, like him, but I love to cook. So his page really inspires me to, it really inspires me to, um, you know, really think outside the box and do things that's more creative. And he does like challenges too, so I might start participating. So definitely think I did great on this recipe. Definitely you guys should try it. Um, this recipe can be tweaked to be like vegan friendly or if you want to add chicken instead or other um, shellfish or seafood. So I think this is a great recipe. I think you guys should try it. Um, I still have some wine from the scampi. So, you know, I'm just going to drink some wine and eat some scampi. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know if you guys want to see me do more stuff like this. And until next time, I'll see you on my next video. Make sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter and Snapchat. Not on Snapchat that much, but yeah. So I hope you. This wine is so good. It's actually really good. But and make sure that you guys like, comment, and subscribe to my video. And let's comment mm, if you're gonna try this recipe or not. And what's off of Two Cool Chefs page you would like me to create on YouTube or even Instagram Live as well too. I want to get an Instagram Live, so let me know. So thank you guys for watching this. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, so until next time.